All right, everyone, that would be the part two. I just completely tuned in the playback. Uh, it appears that all parameters are really good, except probably how stable the face is because capstans are being uh, polished it with the sandpaper. All right, so the scratches, like, uh, but all in all, that's the stability. You see frequency 2999, 3.0, 3, 3 kilohertz. Pretty good. Wow and flutter, perfect. As you may see, like uh, just amplitude changes a little bit, but there is no movement. And that's a good sign that wow and flutter will be great. Uh, I tune it levels, levels were way off. Playback levels on forward and reverse. As soon as I tuned those, uh, indicators started showing zeros, like uh, it's almost perfect. Okay, now minus 20 decibel levels. It shows perfectly well amplitudes. Okay, that's how azimuth adjustment works. Okay, it found the azimuth. Good. And that's the levels. It's 1 kilohertz, 250, 12.5. It tries to find azimuth to see how high it is. No, that's azimuth search. <laughs> Works 10 kilohertz, 6.3, make a little bit lower, 1 kilohertz, and 250 again, high. All right. Really good results. So playback is still good. Now, next step, I will be tuning recording and I will show results after season. Okay, everyone. Uh, to set playback and record azimuth, we have to disconnect this connector, which goes to the azimuth motor, play the tape, and adjust azimuth so it will be on maximums. All right, so that's the azimuth. On the azimuth tape, good. And now I will remove this tape, install the tape for recording. All right, I'll try a record pose, type one, and view record. Okay, levels. Need to adjust levels, make them even. All right, minus 20, more or less even. Let's get frequency to 10 kilohertz. You see, record azimuth is off. All right, now we will adjust it right here. Smaller, you see, it's small. We need to find the biggest wave and stay on the biggest wave, like that. And I'm telling you right away that this record perfectly well. All right, good. Now we can stop and connect azimuth motor back and it will work. All right, I need two, two hands to do it, I believe. All right, done. And now I can rewind a little bit and azimuth will start to work. All right, let's switch to 10 kilohertz. Now I rotate it just a little bit. Here, you know, that's where I'll be by tuning. So. Now we hear azimuth motor, it's tuning, tries to find the biggest wave. And it found the biggest wave, good. It's a little bit off, so we would need to do adjustments. You see, this is early board, right? So there is no two small pots, they absent. And those two pots on top, you've seen, that the addition which was lately implemented on the board itself. All right, 
So it's really interesting to see this board is way different from other boards I've seen. Okay. Let me complete the tuning and then we will measure the final results. See you soon. Okay, I'm using the top pot to adjust forward, recording azimuth tracking, and it's perfect now, as you may see. Now it tracks perfectly. All right, and then like we will do playback and we'll adjust the reverse tracking. Good. I had to also adjust height of the record head. It was off. And like it was disbalanced on the levels here because of that. When I adjusted the height, uh, the levels on these two pots became almost identical. All right. Uh, moving on. See you soon. Okay, everyone. I just tuned it. So that's the source mod. That's the levels. All right, a little bit on the right channel. Don't need to lead it in the in this mode. Done. All right. Ah, oh, run out of tape. Really? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't expect it. It took longer to tune it up, so it was half of the tape, and it's run out. Okay, what I did, uh, the both levels for the 400 gears and 15 kilogears generator were off. So I tuned the deck using my VTVM generator and so on. And then I'm adjusted uh, the levels for generators. And then I'm adjusted the levels for indicator to match. And now everything works perfectly well. So. Again, we're recording that the embedded 400 gears generator and its source mode and it's 15 kilogears. So see, it shows zeros. All right, and that's recorded levels. Can just add a little bit. Okay, 400 gears and 15 kilogears. That's where like it shows a little bit above, like one that's a bell above. We can reduce it, but I would recommend like, to leave at least like one light above. It's normal tape, it will demagnetize, okay? So source tape 15, source tape 400 gears, okay? Turn off, that's the recording. And this 400 gears, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Still recording well. Okay. And if I will let, like, uh, set it plus one, two. Come on, I need to look here. One, two LEDs here, one, two LEDs here, it will be fully linear. All right, so. All right. Recording now. It will show even better, like, let me know. Frequency 400, 10 kilogears, 20 kilogears, 30. <laughs> uh, to, it's, it's records pretty well to 21 kilogears on normal tape and this is really good results so so far it works like new despite being like that many years in the service okay moving on type two let's calibrate 400 you see how big the levels after I tune it to the height of the heads. Uh, I didn't test yet this tape, so 15. And same with the high frequencies. I would leave one, at least one lead. Uh, that would be good for this deck. 
All right now we're recording and it's 400 gears 10 kilogears 400 gears 20 I see Azimut tries to find a good position Eh, yeah, it's not bad and now let's check metal tape let me do this one Four hundred. Boom. Oh, wow. Zero, zero, fifteen. Oh, that's the spare we have. All right, now levels again. None. Bias. Done. Good to record. Four hundred ten kilogears twenty. White drops on metal tape. Okay, 11, 12, 15. And 15 is already dropped a little bit. 16, 17, 18. It's kind of minus 2 decibel at 19 kilogertz. Minus 5, minus 4 decibel at 20. So metal is not that good. I'm not sure why. But everything else works perfectly well. So that's a really great deck now. And owner will be enjoying. Good. Let me assemble it and it will be ready. I will test it for longer because I want to make sure that there is no heating on transistors. I feel okay, barely warm. That's what I want to, to see. That is a little bit warm. That's good, that's good. That one is a little bit warm. That's good. All right. Everything else looks to be good. All right, let me assemble, run it for longer, and I will ship it back. A really, really great deck. See you soon. And here, guys, a little trick for you to ensure and in safe shipping, I'm installing two zip ties. One is here through this hole and on top here, right? And one is here, right? So what it does, it will hold the front panel together to the metal piece, like front panel from the tape transport to the front panel of the deck, right? because these plastic stands, which are the most frequent case uh, why the transport gets broke, because all this is way too heavy, like this heavy cup stands, motor, board, lots of parts, right? It sits on four plastic stands, and as soon as like deck is dropped, the transport will broke stands and like disconnect from the front panel. So that's where we will be helping it to keep and owner will cut the zip ties when he gets the deck and it will require only to remove the top cover to cut the zip ties, okay? So they everyone like technically don't do big harm. A little bit prevent here from the going to the fully up. Let's see, is the tape, how it will work. See, it's 
works perfectly well. All right, no problem at all. That's a good sign. Uh, I would not do from the bottom because like, uh, it would not be possible to get there and cut those ties. All right, that's what you can do when you're shipping the dragons because comparing to the <coughs> excuse me, comparing to the other Nakamichi decks, Dragon has two heavy capstans, uh, thick and made from the heavy metal, right? And plus additional board, plus this metal part, and it, it just all breaks these fragile pins, all right? That's why so many Dragons has been like uh, killed and shipping <laughs> dead in action, all right? So, hope this will help you and you will send the dragons safely. All right, all right, deck was assembled. I will be playing a few seconds of the factory tape, so you may hear that it performs well. And reverse. Really good results, as you may hear, lots of high frequencies. Playback is good, and we've been on ZX. We need EX tape. Uh, 120 microsecond equalizer, good. No. We also need to turn on Dolby. That would be really nice. And it's with Dolby. We have highs. And reverse. Good. I believe it was success and this deck will have another 5-10 years of great life. Thank you everyone. See you on my channel.